Well, here we are in the Demore garage attacking the front brakes of this 95 Kodiak. They came out a lot better than I thought. This, I had to use the puller, which is a great device. Uses that center piece there and pushes on the axle. And basically, when you screw that in, the old Archimedes screw concept, good old Archimedes, the Greek. The Archimedes uh, screw, either way, it pulls that out evenly and does no damage. Last time I mushroomed this by letting this, the sharp tip on this, there's a sharp tip on that. I actually put a piece of metal in between like that and pushed on that because, and I put the, the um, castle nut on that too to prevent that outward pushing and mushrooming. That was a son of a bitch on the back axle. I ruined it and then I had to buy a special uh, threader, a, re a split reverse threader to re-thread that so I didn't have to change the whole axle. But either way, things are looking good, coming together. Got that nice, beautiful Cooney carb in there and it purrs. Alex bought the uh, a cable, nice cable and this like a dream. These wheels, we're going to get them working properly. This, I'm going to use this, knock these. I read that you, when you want it to come outwards, spin them outwards. When you want them to go inwards, spin them inwards. And I need this to rotate without rubbing. These are beautiful new brakes. You can't tell, but there's a lot of meat. Whoopsie. Maybe. There is a lot of meat in... Uh, on those brake pads I mean they're in really great shape I mean it looks like they uh, like they put nice grease on the edge of that uh, ring that rubber ring um, those are really nice uh, I want to call them master cylinders I want to say little pistons that push outwards with the hydraulics of that um, from that reservoir I got to get brake fluid today from AutoZone but those springs are new. They probably rebuilt those brakes, and, and those are new. I mean, they're awesomely new. I'm going to put anti-seize on those threads. No more of this bullshit. That's what got me, get, got me into trouble in the back. It was so seized. This thing, well, it's been sitting for 15 years in somebody's backyard, junkyard. Hillbilly, Michigan farm. Mission Tucky! Yep, this side too. These are beautiful new brakes. Oh, let me see if I can't get this. Yeah, this over here. Yeah. Yeah, see, look at the shape of those brakes. They're beautiful. New. And the springs look great and they're not rusted. Uh, I'm going to tidy up those uh, master cylinders. I think they're called a piston cylinder. Master cylinder might be the way the reservoir, but I don't know. I mean, really, the bearings look great in there. They still got that little O-ring. There's my pretty cool uh, fender, you know, supports. I had repainted those and welded them, welded and repainted. There's my CDI. This is the brains that tells everything what to do, to start, to run everything this doesn't leak anymore i bought the proper screws these hex these special hex uh what do they call that cap nut that's very important it's a metal eight cap nut the guy was using just bolts and it wasn't seating properly and what and oil was leaking down there i still do have a little leak because the shithead broke right here at the tip he, he used the wrong thing and I think he broke the, he used the wrong screw and I think he, he over tightened it and it broke. It doesn't support it right. Either way. And there's Maximilian going off to work. Good job. Got to start 
make some money for his truck because he's going to get put these new wheels on it. All right. Thanks for coming out.